In this video, we'll learn how to use the MSR175 dashboard software to easily configure an MSR175 data logger for its measurement task. The MSR175 dashboard is divided into three sections that are arranged from left to right. They provide a visual workflow that makes using the data logger very easy. The left section's title guides us to the first step. It says, Connect Data Logger. So let's connect an MSR175 data logger to a USB port and see what happens. The status bar indicates that a device has been connected and is being detected. The data logger is then listed in the left section and ready for use with the dashboard. It's represented with some valuable information on its status, like whether it's recording, the name and starting time of its mission, and icons for the installed sensors. In this example, there are sensors for shock, temperature, humidity, air pressure, and light available. Next to the sensor icons, there is an open lock symbol that indicates that the logger is not pin protected, a battery symbol that indicates the battery is charging, and an empty folder symbol that indicates that the logger doesn't contain measured data yet. By clicking on the blue bar below these icons, we can consult the data logger's current configuration and status. Now let's prepare our first setup for a mission. The word mission is synonymous with a measurement task of a data logger. Like everything we can do with a data logger in the MSR175 dashboard, this is done in the middle section of the application window, where available options are accessible through blue buttons. Some of these buttons are only active when at least one data logger is selected in the left section. But since mission settings are defined in the dashboard application and can be passed over to multiple loggers, the Setup Mission button is active independently of whether a data logger is selected or not. So, let's click on it and define the mission parameters that will be passed to the data logger later. The mission information helps us identify the task later. We can secure the data logger with a PIN. This way, only a person with knowledge of that PIN code has access to the data logger. For the shock measurement mode, let's select the highest frequency and a low threshold of 2G. We want the logger to start recording immediately and the red LED to blink if a shock is detected. If other sensors are installed, we may want to define limits for these parameters as well. By clicking the OK button, the mission configuration is stored and will be applied to every data logger we send on a mission. To send a data logger on a mission, we select it in the left section and click the Start Mission button. The logger representation moves from the left section to the middle section where it's being prepared. Once the logger has received the mission settings, it moves to the right section where it'll reside until the device is unplugged from the USB port. You may want to keep it plugged in until the battery is fully charged. Your MSR175 data logger is now ready for its mission. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos to learn more about the MSR175 dashboard.